Welcome back to the channel. My name is Patrick Red, and I'm gonna talk about the wrong way that professionals and high-performing entrepreneurs try to build their social lives, but doing it by themselves, they often mess up, and maybe you've experienced this up to this point, trying to build your own social life. So time and time again, when I hop on one-on-one -on -one consultation calls with guys, they have these incredibly whack mindsets about how they can actually build their social lives. And it's kind of weird because with other parts of their life, they've been able to get handled very quickly. Maybe that they're successful already in business. They already are very fit and at the gym. They're a guy that's rich or fit, but at the same time, they haven't figured out or cracked the code for actually how to build their social lives. And there's a lot of misconceptions about how to actually build a happy social life. For example, that you need to live in a big city or have amazing Instagram photos. You need to be like an Instagram influencer, that you need to sacrifice time for your work, that maybe you don't deserve to actually have a happy social life because maybe that's just not for you. And I, I felt all those exact same things, which is why I've been so passionate about helping guys actually overcome those exact problems. So one thing that guys do that kind of blows my mind because these are guys that literally have more money than time. For guys who have 40 to 60 hours a week, this is definitely not the case. You can do whatever you want. Guys who don't have professional jobs, guys who aren't kind of crushing it or trying to build like a bigger empire for themselves, that's perfectly fine. They can do this, right? But for guys who have more money than time and don't have time to waste, well, the thing that they mess up on the most is they try to go out just more often. Every single day they'll go out, they'll try to go meet new people, they'll spend five to six hours at night trying to go meet people at nightclubs, and they end up messing up their sleep schedule, they wake up too late to actually get work done. During the day they're not productive because they've kind of sacrificed and spent all this energy trying to meet people, trying to socialize with random strangers on the street, random strangers that are in clubs, and that's not how high status people actually act. If you look at it, there are so many guys who are already successful in business and they're already crushing it in their social lives as well. So instead of actually trying to go out every single day, just go out more frequently, that's not what you need. You don't need to just go out more often to actually get things done because every single hour that you're spending away from your business or your professional life is money that you could actually be making. So if you actually figure out a way to actually meet the type of people that you wanna be around and a lot smoother process, then that can solve a giant pain point for you that now instead of spending you know 40 hours a week, 60 hours a week trying to build a social life, that you actually have a, a clear step-by-step -step structure. So professionals, professionals just don't do that. Guys that actually have jobs and have better things to do and better ways to spend their time, don't just go spend 40 hours a week talking to random strangers on the street. And above and beyond, it's not even something that's super easy. It's something that's super stressful, makes you feel like you don't have really good confidence. It makes you feel like you, you don't deserve it because you're going and talking to these people and they don't, they're not even interested in talking with you back. And it's not your fault because again, you just need to actually follow a step-by-step -step plan that can get you from point A to point B. You're not looking for random people on the street, you're looking for a specific type of person. And that brings me to mistake number two. Not actually knowing the type of people that you want to be in your elite lifestyle. What type of people do you actually wanna have around you? Not just like, for example, not just you want somebody who's really shredded in the gym, not just a guy who's an entrepreneur, but you want to be friends with a guy who runs an online Shopify business and does between six and seven figures per year on online drop shipping. And this guy is 23 years old and he also likes to go surfing. If you're not specific with the type of people that you actually wanna meet, well, you're never gonna actually meet them. It makes sense. If you don't have an intentional goal and you're not intentional with your process, then why would you actually think that you could actually meet these types of people? So you really need to have clarity on your goals. And the only way that you can do this is actually talking with a mentor one-on-one -on -one about exactly what type of people that you wanna meet. Because I will see guys that are like, hey, I wanna meet this type of people, and I'll be like, why? And they will have no justification. Like they wanna become best friends with people like LeBron James. And I'm like, okay, well, why do you wanna become friends with LeBron James? And like, 
oh, I don't know, he's just a cool guy. Okay, that's cool, but like, we're trying to build your lifestyle here. We're not trying to just feel cool about ourselves. So if you're not intentional about actually meeting specific types of people, well, you're never gonna actually meet them. Now, the next mistake that I see guys, and it's even more painful because it's just like, I don't, I don't even understand it, is just thinking that you just need to spend more money. Uh, on different social events. I've seen guys that are, I, I wouldn't classify it as lonely, but I'll, I'll see guys that are not in a good headspace when they buy bottle service tables, when they are trying to like spend money for events and they'll blow, I've seen guys blow between $10,000, $50,000, $100,000 in one single night because they're trying to have a social event. But then after they spend that money, they go back to their normal boring lives and it, nothing has really changed so guys will see like oh there's a bunch of beautiful women at the tables oh the high status guys are at bottle service tables and nightclubs or oh there's really cool high status guys at this one event or this one charity event or one party and they go to this event they spend a lot of money to get in or they spend a lot of money on bottle service and it doesn't get them what they thought it would get them they end up at bottle service with a group of eight guys all looking at each other like, okay, this is cool, but where are all the girls? Or where are all the cool people? I don't feel that cool about myself. And right afterwards, they go back to their normal average lives right after that. If you're watching this, you're probably really discerning that you kind of understand that, you know, you might have, you might be spending way too much time going out trying to meet people. You might not even be meeting the people that you actually want to meet. You might be good at socializing, but not actually meeting the type of people that you want to meet. And on top of that, you might have these kind of events or these one-off wins, but slowly it just pulls back to your success that you thought you had and doesn't actually give you some type of long-lasting results. It's very fleeting for you. It feels like you've won in one moment, but the next moment you feel like you're back to, to square one. So those are really the top three ways that I see professionals and high-performing entrepreneurs really messing up building their social lives and maybe I've personally done all of those mistakes. I'm not, uh, I don't have a big ego about it. I was able to suspend my disbelief, actually just turn off my brain, execute what my mentor told me and get the results because simply I didn't really care about the semantics of the process. I just wanted to have a happy social life that I had cool events, I had cool friends that I could go hang out with, people that wanted to actually bring me into their lives and really experience that next level of like feeling like I was fulfilled actually being around people that I thought would help upgrade me in my life. So if you're a professional or a high performing entrepreneur and you've done either one of those mistakes or maybe you've done all of those mistakes in the past, obviously you can see the value in actually following a step-by-step -step process rather than just trying to figure these things out by yourself. And I mean, if you have 40, 60 hours a week and you have no job and things like that, you can afford to do those things and figure it out by yourself. But in six to 12 months, you'll probably be in the exact same spot you are right now. So if you believe in challenging the status quo and you're not okay with actually just having a normal life, you're not okay with just thinking the same way that every other person does, and you actually wanna be one of these professionals that also has a happy social life, well, what I want you to do right now is look down in the link down below and there's a link and if you click that, it will bring you to a website that actually allows you to book a free one-on-one -on -one consultation call with either me or one of my expert coaches. And on that call, we're actually gonna ask you a couple questions, figure out a little bit more about your situation because like, if I don't know anything about you, then it's hard for me to actually give you actionable advice. That's kind of the purpose is that you could go watch YouTube, more free YouTube videos and get some more free advice. If you have more, if you don't have the time to waste, then this is exactly the fastest way that will get you from point A to point B. From being in this kind of lonely caged feeling in your social circle, making these mistakes constantly, thinking that you just need more time to actually implement in your social circle, to your dream social circle around people that actually don't give you anxiety that you're actually happy and fulfilled around. So. If you click that link, it'll actually bring you to an application and we get hundreds and hundreds of applications. I've had, I think over a thousand calls at this point, helping guys build their social circles. 
and we've really seen it all. We've seen it if you're in a big city and you want to move to a small city. We've seen it if you're in a small city and you want to move to a big city. We've seen it for all types of jobs, all types of demanding environments. For example, online poker players, we've seen doctors, we've seen military, we've seen guys that are accountants, we've seen guys who are online entrepreneurs, digital nomads, we've seen it all and we know exactly how to help you. And so what we're gonna do is you fill out that application and if we actually accept you, you'll get put onto a spot where you can actually book a one-on-one -on -one call and a specific time for us to give you a call and actually start diving into your situation. And on that call, we're gonna call from a 702 Las Vegas number. So when you get that call, make sure you're in a silent spot, a spot where honestly, you can really absorb all of that value because we're really gonna dive into your exact situation. It's really personalized exactly for you. And remember, if you actually miss that call, we're not gonna give you another call back. This is really one opportunity for you to actually get this solved. And if not, you'll end up losing and missing it out and end up going back to the normal life that you had beforehand. So if you don't believe in living a life of the status quo, then that call is for you. And it's not for guys who have more time and aren't willing to actually implement the steps that we talk about or looking to just kind of get a little bit of free information and then go back to their boring normal lives so like i said if you watch to the end of this video and you don't actually click that link you've kind of just wasted 10 minutes of your time otherwise it's super simple and it's kind of crazy because you're already 90 percent of the way there and right now is the time for you to make one of the hardest decisions and that is are you going to be a guy who dabbles and keeps scrolling through random free youtube videos and cat memes or are you actually gonna take action and get this solved once and for all? Peace.